The Ministry of Education has instructed head teachers in schools not to admit any transferring students expelled from other institutions as a result of participating in strikes and vandalism. While making references to the increased spate of arson in schools, Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Ratiangi says this is part of a raft of strict policies the Ministry will adopt to ensure everyone takes responsibility for their actions. He has now directed school heads not to admit any transferring student without a letter from the county director of education. No head teacher should admit a transferring student without the clearance of the sub-county director of education. If you are transferring your child from school A to school B, in addition to the leaving certificate, you must have a letter from the sub-county director of education to confirm that your child has not been burning schools and you are moving him around to burn more schools. He further called on the county directors of education to work together with school heads to identify any student engaging in vandalism and ensure that they, together with their parents, pay for the damages. I don't think I will be inclined to spend the Ministry of Education resources to repair schools that have been banned by students. Because that way, we are irresponsible. And that's why I want us to adopt a very strict policy on the transferring students. So if students are getting involved in destructive behavior, they stay in that school, they work with their parents and repair the school that they are banned. Like now you should know, this information should go out. Don't admit a student from Tengecha in your school. Don't admit a student from Interior. Don't admit a school, you know, transferring student. And if they come, they must have a letter from the sub-county director of education. He was speaking before embarking on a tour of Kirijo and Kisi, where there has been a spate of student unrest with the latest occurring at Itierio Boys High School in Kisi, where students burned down seven dormitories. This responsibility really must come along. I have no problem. I don't want to blame teachers. Because a lot of people I've seen in social media, people want to say, oh, you know, teachers are irresponsible. No, that's fine. There could be a problem and we can encourage, you know, conversation. But we also must encourage our children to live responsibly. We must encourage our children to live responsibly. Why didn't they sit in the field and say, we are not going to class because we have not been allowed to watch a football match? Why didn't they say, we'll sit in this hall, we are not going to sleep? If you burn seven out of 11 dormitories, so what do you think is going to happen to your school? Kangathan Jiroge, for Capital TV.